Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to our online class. Hope all of you are fine at home by the grace of Almighty Allah. Dear students, how are you getting on with your studies? Hope well. Today, I will discuss on chapter 11. Children's growing up and its obstacles in Bangladesh. After doing the class, you will be able to answer of these questions. Question number one, what is socialization? Two, what are the influence of socialization in social life? Three, explain the mediums of socialization. Four, write down the importance of socialization. Five, what do you mean by child labor? Six, what are the causes and effects of child labor? 7. What attitude we have to practice towards child workers? 8. Write down the nature, causes and impacts of child repression. And 9. Write down the causes and prevention of child trafficking. Dear students, when a child is born, it remains only a living being with senses. Gradually, that means he or she is dependent on others for everything. Gradually, through various changes, he or she grows up an eligible member of the society. In this process, the child has to first surpass the family boundary to adjust with new environment. The process of adjusting with new environment and new situation is called socialization. Have a look on the board. The process through which we get social education and become OD members of the society is called socialization. Dear student, socialization is a lifelong process. You know that the condition of all families of children are not same. Some of children are getting huge facilities to serve them in the world and some of are living hand to mouth. So there are some hinges also to grow up of children. When a child is born, it feels the necessity of two things. One is food and the other one is maintaining body temperature. Mother fulfills these two primary wants of a child. For this reason, mother becomes the role model for children. After some time, the child realizes the presence of its father and other people. And so, the boundary of its social relation spreads further. Subsequently, the child becomes a social being through different mediums including neighbors, agemates, playmates, classmates and religious institutions also. Thus, a child acquires several qualities like ideas, norms and regulation, values, responsibilities, duties and tolerance and is encouraged to play the role as a social being. Dear students, socialization has a great influence in social life. This process turns a child into a man. This process helps a child develop. It also helps a become a old citizen. And this socialization process makes children responsible and develops his or her necessary skills. So socialization is very much important for growing up of a children. That's why the socialization process 
must be congenial to every child. I hope you have understood about the socialization. Now, I am going to discuss on mediums and importance of socialization. Dear students, there are some mediums to become as a social being. That are family, neighbors, educational institutions, classmates and playmates, religion and mass media, etc. Already you have known that. Socialization of children begins from family. The characteristic qualities of children develop in family environment. From the family, children acquire social teachings like cooperation, tolerance, friendship, brotherhood, self-sacrifice, love, etc. A congenial family environment is needed for proper socialization of children. On the contrary, family unrest hinders the normal development of children. So, we shall maintain a pleasant family atmosphere for the healthy mental and physical condition which is essential to the development of children. Neighbors Dear students, those who live near our houses are our neighbors. Children of same age can form a team among their neighbors. Through it, they can learn mutual cooperation, fellow feeling, equity, unity, etc. Educational institutions. This is the most important medium of becoming a social being. Besides acquiring knowledge, children learn several social ideals at educational institutions. These ideals are sense of discipline, sense of responsibility, sense of respect, cooperation, sympathy, mutual admiration, etc. Taking part in different programs of the educational institution, children learn lot of things. Social etiquettes, manners and values. Contents of textbooks also influence children's manners. Therefore, the role of educational institution is very important for socialization. Classmates and playmates. The role of classmates and playmates is not less important in the socialization of children. Children can acquire leadership quality mixing with the classmates and playmates. Listening to the criticism of good and bad, children learn expected manners. However, bad classmates and playmates instigate children to take part in anti-social activities. So, we have to be careful to select our classmates and playmates. Religion Religion is a kind of belief which is expressed through certain rituals and festivals. The basic principle of every religion is to call individuals to justice and human welfare and keep them away from injustice and evils. Monks, temples, churches, pagodas and other religious institutions influence the people of Muslim, Hindu, Christian and Buddhist community in many ways. Religion instills social values in human minds, confers them several qualities like cooperation, dutifulness, justness, sympathy, etc. It teaches us to be honest and just. We shall follow religious canon and maintain good relation with all people, irrespective of race, caste, religion, and gender. Mass media. Dear students, the mediums of presenting news, opinion, recreation, etc. to the people are called mass media. 
what is mass media i am telling you again the mediums of presenting news opinion recreation etc to the people are called mass media various mass media such as newspaper magazine radio television movie etc play an important role in socialization newspapers and magazines provide different information about social values customs traditions and culture and education which contribute to the socialization of children the radio plays a role in children's socialization broadcasting recreational and instructive programs information collected from television plays an active role in instructing in socializing children who can listen and see the programs simultaneously films can also contribute to socialization if they are not only amusing but also realis realistic and educative this type of movie plays an important role in molding the attitudes of children so mass media also most important media of socialization i hope all of you have understood the mediums of becoming a social being now i am going to discuss on concept causes and effects of child labor what is child labor have you looked on the board there are some words for children who is have to face with danger risks exploitation and deprivation in working for earning money is called child labor i am telling you again there are some words for children who is have to face with danger risks exploitation and deprivation in working for earning money is called child labor dear students we see that many children instead of going to school do different types of work again many other children do many works besides studying at school however every child has to do some works that is not harmful rather that is helpful for better living for himself and for his family for example a child can help the parents work or other family members by doing any work it is also enjoyable the child is not forced to do this work but there are some words which are harmful to children this type of work is called child labor there are some causes of child labor out of them poverty sick parents separation of parents etc are the main causes many guardians are compelled to send their children to work instead of sending them to school because of economic insolvency besides if parents are sick or separated sometimes children are compelled to earn money children are in household work or in brick fields as children work at low wages in addition because of devastating natural disasters many children drop out from school and work as child laborers guardians discriminatory treatment towards male and female children also turns female children into child labor risky labor is harmful to children's physical and mental health dear students what are the effects of child labor risky labor is harmful to children's physical and mental health because of excessive labor they are attacked with infectious diseases a kind of mental reaction is created among the child laborers when they see same age children going to school playing and going on and outing with their parents they also crave for this so inferiority complex in the minds of children results for unfulfilled demand children cannot demonstrate their normal behavior they lost their esteem for the 
society and its people. A sort of ferocity and aggression is created on the minds of children. These children may become passionless, fearless and terrible. Development of a child labor is affected by malnutrition, sleeplessness and restlessness. We shall refrain ourselves from harmful and risky labor and help others refrain from it. What attitudes can we show to the child laborers? Now I will discuss about that. Our attitude towards child workers. Dear students, we see that many children of your age work in households, mills and factories or at other workplaces. Though they work from morning to evening, they do not get two square meals daily. Many a times, these children do not get their due wages. These children do not know what are affection, love and adoration. Physical and mental tortures are their daily companion. Dear students, think the reasons for which they have become workers. Any one of us may fall in this same situation. If we realize it wholeheartedly, our love for them will increase. We have to think how can help them. Have a look on the board. We should provide food timely. We should love them. We have to give them recreational time. We have to give them time for education. We have to make him or her our playmate. We should good behave with them. We have to pay their wages hard. Dear students, all of children like you want endearment, care and love of parents, brothers, sister and other family members of the family. This type of attitudes help children grow up properly. But in our country, children open for victim to oppression in different places, including family, school, mills and factories. Dear students, negative manners towards children, such as laughing at Rebuking, calling men, torturing physically and torturing mentally are called child repression. We don't want child repression. We see that there are some causes of child repression. What are the causes? In many families, conflict results from mental acrimony and dispute of the parents. Anger, resentment and emotion accumulated in the mind of both of the parents because of family feud get manifestation on children. Or the child engaged in household work. In addition, because of the incidents like separation and breaking up of marriage between parents, children fall victim to Merciless manners. Again, sometimes the child is tortured by elder brothers, sisters, or kids and kin for or without any reason. Sometimes children are tortured by teachers at school. As children are weak, they also fall victim to torture because of dispute with neighbors for plans. Children are sometimes tortured by hotel owners, factory owners, or senior workers. We see children are also oppressed by bus drivers and conductors. In this way, human rights of children are violated. Ruthless manners towards children hinder their physical, mental, and moral growth. Excessive expectation of parents also creates mental torment on the minds of children.
trigen. As a result, trigen become lean and thin and peevish. To stop child repression, we have to behave consciously with them. Everybody must be conscious of the rights of children to mount future generation. Our government is also working for the prevention of child repression. The government is providing the victims with the service of legal aid, medical treatment and counseling. However, to prevent child repression, the development of social value is a must. I hope all of you have understood the nature, causes and impacts of child repression. Now I am going to discuss on child trafficking. You will have to learn the causes and prevention of child trafficking. Dear students, we often learn the notice of loss of children from newspaper, posters or mic announcements. Questions arise in our minds regarding how these children are lost and where they go. These lost children are often trafficked. This trafficking work is an anti-humanitarian act. Child trafficking is a kind of immoral act in which the person or group of people involved sends the children behind the scenes from one place to another for commercial purposes. This includes human trafficking. Have you understood about human trafficking? Okay, very good. The children are trafficked through various strategies. What are the strategies? Have a look on the board. In the guise of love, showing greed, showing things kids like, giving assurance to provide food, telling lies about his or her parents, relatives, etc. Using safe as friends and sometimes by kidnapping forcibly. These trafficked kids are used for various inhuman activities including camel jockeys in the desert. Sometimes this trafficking collect different organs of child body and cells. The causes of child trafficking are many. The major causes are poor parents in the ability of raising children, lack of consciousness of parents and guardians, handing children over to the traffickers in the hope of job and helplessness of the children without guardian. Dear students, if children are trafficked, their physical and mental health is seriously affected. They get involved in different crimes. Parents, relatives and neighbors have to be conscious of it. Besides this, teachers of schools, mokto and moms have to be careful and make their respective students conscious of it. Our duties in preventing child trafficking are not insignificant. To prevent trafficking, we will have to take some steps. So then, you will have to learn properly the prevention of child trafficking for staying safe. What is the prevention of child trafficking? Have a look on the board. We will not go to remote areas alone. Do you go alone? Anywhere? Of course not. We will not take food or toys or anything from unknown people. We will not go anywhere with unknown or little known person also. We will suspect the people who will enable us. We must be careful about traffickers strategically as well as alert others too. If necessary, the proper authority is to be informed. Dear students, if you follow the method of prevention of child trafficking, 
you can be safe. That is a homework for you. Dear students, I have given you a very easy homework. You have to make only 30 one word questions from chapter 11. And let me again make 30 one word questions from chapter 11. Your SBA marks will be dependent on this homework. So do the homework attentively. After opening the school, you will have to submit to me the homework. That's all for the class. See you again in the next class. Thank you. Allah.